Today we're going to take a bacteria sample for a house that has a well. So first thing we want to do is run our kitchen sink here on cold water for anywhere between like 5 to 15 minutes would be a good amount of time. So once we've let this run for 5 to 15 minutes, we'll shut it off, remove the screen that's here. Now you may need a pair of pliers to do this. That will be just this simple. And we'll turn the water back on, let it run for a second. And now bacteria can build up under the faucet, so we need to get rid of that. And there's two ways you can do that. One is just simply with a lighter. And you don't want to get the surface too hot, we don't want to ruin the, the fixture. But usually just heating underneath will kill any bacteria that's on the surface. If you're worried about the fixture, you can also use uh, rubbing alcohol. So drench uh, a paper towel and rubbing alcohol and rub it on the surface. That will kill any bacteria that's here. And once again, just can flame it. Turn it on, let it run. So now here's our bacteria bottle. Uh, I just got this from the lab. They give it to me for free as long as they bring it back to that lab. You can also purchase it at your local pharmacy and, and basically it's just a specimen cup. So it's uh, sterile. We'll open this up, make sure that the, the package is sealed. Again, what I have to do, remove this sticker if I can off of here before I break the seal so it doesn't get in the way when we fill it. And just hold it underneath. And that's that. So now what I'll do is I'll put this on some ice and I'll take it down to the lab now. Usually they like to have it the same day that you take the sample. And that's pretty much as simple as taking a water sample at your house.